Hick Belly Outdoors, DW Verts here. <laughs> I'm fixing a way through that. It's about 50 yards to the creek. Beautiful 90 something degree summer day. And I'm gonna go try to find me some points, some artifacts. Probably gonna try very long. It's freaking nasty out here, and I don't know if I can survive the walk through that mess. So we're gonna try. Stay tuned. So I just waded through a jungle, 94 degree heat and getting hotter. Wow. Decided to come down to a creek and do a little arrowhead hunting. Just for a little bit. A little artifact hunting. Just for a little bit. It is a jungle this year. Man, oh man. I don't think I eat chiggers or tiggers on me, but man. It is rough. We have a little walk around. Boy, everything. This creek, like all of them, they've changed so much. It's changed so much since last year. We trapped here late this winter. It is just not the same place. So, do some looking around, see if we can figure something out. I talk about these creeks are changing. I don't know what's happened to this one. These weeds didn't used to be here. It's always with a pretty clean gravel bar. Actually, about a quarter mile long. Another one below it, about the same size. A lot of weeds on top of it. Don't know what's happened. With all the high water we've had, I don't get what's changed. Except it is a bigger, taller gravel bar than what it used to be. It can make it that much harder found some good stuff here over the years though so there's a little bit of breeze once in a while I left the house I didn't think there was going to be anything so that's something so so I'm just getting started I'm going to spend a little bit of time at it I don't have to wade back through all that crap to get back the truck it's, it's 8 and 10 foot tall grass it's horrible <laughs> okay well here we go hopefully we can find something Okay, so lesson time. It's too hot to do anything else but talk. Wow. Um, giving secrets away for artifact hunting may be worse than giving away fishing secrets. But I'm going to talk about a couple things, what I'm looking for, basically. I, I've tried to decide over the years what it is that helps me to find points. And Obviously, a arrowhead shaped like an arrowhead is the most obvious thing you can find. You don't find that often enough. So I'm looking for probably color of the rock. If you look down through there, that rock's mostly brown. As I run a bunch of deer off through the creek. Mostly brown, some grays, some blacks, some whites. And then you come across one that looks like this. Now folks, that's not necessarily an artifact, except it is. It's been hit on by man. Whether to knock off flakes to make something else with, to try to get a usable core or whatever, but it is a rock that's been napped on. Now, whoo, it's hot too. Can you see those lines, those peaks. I doubt you can even see there's percussion marks where plates were knocked off of it. So shape is important too, but that also, I'm looking at the patina. The color of that rock is not like any other rock around here. In this part of the country, when you find rocks that have that kind of orange and brown color, they've been hit on by that man. Whatever strata they've set in for thousands of years has made it happen. See? Can you see that long flake was drawn off right there? Big flakes knocked off. 
all the way around, flake, flake. It's just, it's not necessarily an artifact, except it's made by man, so it is. It was never anything. I think you ever see the percussion waves driven up through there. Color, shape, shape, color. That rock doesn't match anything else in this creek. Well, it looks pretty brown from here. Still, shape of an arrowhead is hard to pass up. I'm going to go, I probably look for color as much as anything else. If I see something else sitting right here, I found, I've been, I've went 30 yards. I've already found six or eight flakes. Nothing great. I'll see another one standing right here where I can pick up real quick and show you. Color, they're going to be shinier sometimes. Once you get in your head, once you find the first one, it's like mushroom hunting. It gets easier. So, I'm not hot enough yet. I'm going down through here. I'm just trying to tell you guys how I find them. Hopefully it makes sense. I know this is probably boring, but I got to have some sort of content. I just, there's that rock I was just at, and here's another one just past it. It's got that orangish color. This was uglier than that one, but it had pieces drawn off of it. So if you can find a color in your area that helps identify points, look for that color. That's got that orange, gray, and it's also got the smooth ripples on it. And you start looking for things like that, and points will be the same way. Make sense? I hope. I'd like to say how much fun that was, but it's pretty hot. There's just hardly any breeze at all. Uh, I'm going to try to find my way back to my truck. Didn't really find much. Um, I mean, this ain't even close to what I found. Some pretty flakes. Um, I probably found 15 pieces like that. Look at that pretty. I don't know if the camera's going to show how pretty that really is. Anyway... You can't find one every time. It'd look like Hollywood if I did that. And I'll guarantee you, 100 yards or so, I went 85 yards. I passed up something, or I didn't go where there was that. I didn't look it all over. It's hot. It's nasty. And I'm going to go get me a shower and get some of this critter stuff off. I guarantee you I'm packing something I don't want to pack. Uh, quick deal again, looking for shapes, colors. Um, one thing is... I was thinking to tell, look for something that don't match anything else because a lot of rocks that are made into points and artifacts aren't from the area you're in. They're from a long ways away. I mean, there's been obsidian points found in Missouri from thousands of miles away. I know a guy found a point made from coral. That's east, south, probably. East coast has a lot of coral. Look for stuff that don't match. Three kinds of hunting that I do. Walk in these creeks, melting in these creeks. Plowed fields, which aren't like they used to be when I used to actually plow them. And I like to dig, and digging is a lot of work. Uh, the rewards are good, but I've dug for weeks, even almost a year, without finding anything worth finding. Always, 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 always get permission. If you're out there without permission, you're breaking a law, you're no friend of mine. I have permission everywhere I go. There's public land, has lots of stuff, especially if you learn how to hunt stuff. Like I've been telling you, you'll find things that other people ain't finding. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm Dale Verts. You sure as heck gonna be me right now. Hopefully you're somewhere air conditioned sipping that cold iced tea, maybe sweet tea. We're gonna do something else. Shower, do some work. Talk at you later. God bless.